All right, everybody, so we made it to Little Havana, Miami. Little Havana, Miami, we're gonna have some some uh, Cuban food, Cuban food that we're gonna have today. I was researching, I found some awesome places. So we're gonna check it out. If you can see, there's a lot of stuff going around tonight. This is Little Havana. Right here. So let's see what we're gonna go eat. Follow us, join us. Let's see what we're gonna go eat, right? try this one place it's called old havana old havana check it out all right so we're gonna go ahead and eat right here at this table right here perfect we're gonna be right by the live band. We're gonna get a live band and then we'll show you all see what they're playing, right? So this place is very famous for their mojitos, their mojitos. We just got the passion fruit one. We ordered the passion fruit mojito and then we're gonna try to see what we're gonna have to eat. There's a lot of good Cuban um, food here, authentic Cuban food. And I heard their sandwich is pretty darn good. So we might have that, but I'm still going to investigate a little bit and see what other dishes might be um, good or what might be better than the sandwich, right? If not, a classic Cuban sandwich, I'm sure you cannot go wrong. This is my first time eating at an authentic Cuban place. And they have some nice band, they got some nice stuff going on. It's a very, very nice environment. So, let's see what we're gonna get. Try 
their famous one-of-a-kind mojito. So this is a famous beverage that they sell here. When I was doing my research, I noticed this mojito right here. So this is the reason why I got it. If you're wondering what this is, it's a piece of sugar cane. And I believe this is the passion fruit mojito. They have various um, flavors. They have their classic, they have um, passion fruit, they have the mango, they have all kinds. So we're gonna start with this mojito right here. It's nice and stirred and prepared. So let's see what it's got. Oh yeah. Very classic and it has that dizzy dazzle, that kick of that passion fruit. Very, very delicious mojito. I don't think I've tasted a better mojito. You can taste the alcohol a little bit. You can taste the freshness of it. It's very refreshing. The mint leaf, it just gives it that kick to finish it off. It's very good. I told her I'm I'm craving pork so bring me the best pork dish that you recommend with um, your recommendation of sides I want to try your sides I want authentic Cuban it's my first time eating Cuban food but I do want pork I don't want beef I don't want chicken I want pork so she's gonna bring me a surprise dish surprise and we don't know what we're gonna eat or I don't know what I'm gonna eat so um, we're gonna try and see if their suggestion is worth it we're gonna try this dish. We also ordered a sandwich called El Guapo. And I know in, in Latin, in Spanish, we think guapo is like pretty, right? Someone pretty. Guapo, guapa, somebody pretty. But um, I guess in Cuba, it has two meanings, which one can be pretty, but the common meaning for guapo in Cuba is like the person, the strong person, the person that just goes head on and does not care, you know, I guess the wild, strong person that just goes at it. Um, aggressive, however you want to describe it, that's their meaning of guapo. So we're gonna try the guapo sandwich and we're gonna try the surprise dish. Hopefully it's some good stuff, I'm excited, I wanna taste some Cuban authentic food. I'm a food critic, I'm a food eater, and I'll let you know what I think as soon as I try this food, if I recommend it or if I don't, all right? So. All right, they just finished bringing us some uh, awesome giant cracker. I'm not sure what it is exactly, but it's like a giant cracker or some type of bread. I tried it. Very, very delicious bread. It's toasted, it's perfect. I don't know what kind of bread it is. This is one of the things they bring you out to the table. So very delicious. tender that is look at that 
like it's like roasted slow cooked very very tender it slips off the bone it melts in your mouth i'm gonna go ahead and, and leave the the name and the in the in the details below <laughs> Oh my god, there's some good stuff. Some of the best pork I've eaten. A little, a little bit of sausage too, <laughs> sausage. All right. We're gonna try the sandwich now. Should I get it out of here? This one, little one? Just one little piece. So I know this sandwich right here. It comes with like mini fries and you're supposed to kind of like put them inside, right? We're gonna try it. This is a waffle. This is a waffle sandwich. We're gonna try it. the first time I tried Cuban sandwich. I'm in love. So our meal was super delicious. The meal that I ordered is called Lancon con Papa. <laughs> With accent right now. It's Lancon, Lancon con Papa. Basically it's like a calf of a pork and it comes accompanied with uh, yuca. If you would like yuca, they can bring it with yuca. And it's this um, special rice also that I got that's a rice and beans, that's what it is. I do not know the exact name, but it is good. I do have a little description just in case. Okay. So, that's what I ordered. Lacón con papas. So let me read it out so you can know what it is exactly, right? So basically, la con con papas, it's a ham shank braised in spices, all right? It's a ham. It's a ham shank braised in spices, onion, peppers, paprika, and chorizo served with potatoes and fresh parsley. So that was my dish. And remember that uh, Andrew got the, the Cuban sandwich, El Guapo. And to finish it off, we're gonna drink a little bit of Cuban coffee. Remember, he, he ordered a Cuban sandwich. Did I say Cuban or did I say Colombian? <laughs> All right, so it's a, it's a Cuban, it's a Cuban sandwich. Um, there's a lot of special, different kind of sandwiches, a large variety of sandwiches when it comes to a Cuban sandwich. Every place has its own unique kinds and they have their specialty ones and, and their house special ones. So we're gonna finish it off with a little shot of some Colombian coffee, just to get woke a little bit and we can get about our day. We still have about an hour, two hour drive. And after that, we're gonna get some rest and we're gonna continue our journey in Florida. Cheers, everybody. I hope to see you soon. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Do not forget to come by the old Havana out here in Little Havana, Miami, Florida, everybody. <laughs>